Okay. Today we will uh, apply the shape function to determine the uh, internal force such as uh, axial force, shear force, and also bending moment. Okay. So uh, we have to understand the the relationship between displacement and uh, internal force first that uh, we already know for mechanics of material that uh, we know that uh, if we know if we have the displacement the displacement okay so for the axial for the axial force Axial force. Axial force is defined by uh, from the the positive side convention that we already know. Axial force from the the by element that we have done it before. If we review, we found that axial force is equal to E A strain. Right, yeah, strain, but strain is equal to the first derivative of this statement. Okay, if you review the by element, <laughs> so for the finite element, it means that if we would like to find this term. If we would like to find this term for the axial force, okay, we have to uh, determine the first derivative of the shear function. Okay, so for u is equal to n one n two u right. This is uh, when we would like to find the displacement at any position x. Okay. Actually, it should be in one x into x. This is a function of x, right? And displacement vector v one v two. Okay, this is for x here, right? So then, when we would like to find the first derivative. Of this statement, this means that we take the first derivative of shear function. Okay, so for the first derivative uh, for the shear function of the axial force, shear function of the axial force n one is equal to one minus x over l right and n2 is equal to x over l so this means that n1 is equal to minus one over l right in n1 palm sorry and n2 palm is equal to one over l okay so then come back to this we have a in palm that is minus one over l one over l by with u one u two which is in local okay u one and u two in the same manner for beam this is for bar right If we consider the beam, beam we have the relationship between the moment and force. Is what? A moment and displacement, moment and curvature. Moment curvature relationship that we already define. We already know that from mechanics of material. Moment is equal to 
B I Kappa Kappa is mean curvature. That's for small displacement. Is e is equal to d two v by d x two. Okay, v is the displacement, <coughs> displacement vertical displacement of the beam. Okay, and from this, because shear force is the first derivative of bending moment, so it's become e i triple derivative of the displacement. Okay. So then it means that we have to find the first derivative of uh, the second derivative of shape function of beam shape function, the maintain, and also the third derivative of the maintain shape function. That is what what? For n1. N1 equal to 1 minus 3x square over L square. Okay, plus 2x cube over L cube. And then N2 equal to x minus 2x square over L plus x cube over L cube. Sorry. Oh, square, sorry. Okay, and also N3 equal to the X square over L square <coughs> minus two X cube over L. Okay, and also N4 equal to minus x plus x cube over l square. Okay, so then from this, we can find the first derivative, second derivative, and third derivative. So I, uh, because we have this only, uh, we have the space that is maybe not enough. Okay, so I just uh, write, in one palm over here, okay. In one palm is become minus six x over l square, okay. Plus six x square over l cube, okay. In two palm become one minus four x over l, okay. Plus three x square over l square <coughs> and three palm is equal to six x over l square okay minus six x square over l cube okay and four palm equal to minus two x over l plus three x square over l square okay and then we find the second derivative n1. Second derivative of n1 is become minus six over l square, okay, plus 12x over l cube, okay. We will see that the second derivative of the chair function is become the limit, become limit. So this means that we may approximate the bending moment by using this relationship. Okay, minus four over L plus six X over L squared. And three to become six over L squared. Okay, minus well X over Q. Okay, and four. That is minus two over L. Okay, plus six X over L squared. Okay, now we have the second derivative already. Then we find the third derivative. Third derivative is become 12 over L cube. Okay, it's become six over L squared in three. It's become minus 
and four to n to one. This become six over l squared. Okay. So then because uh I just write on this so so this that's uh I have to snapshot this. to keep this page. Okay. Now we already have the formula like this okay and if we would like to find the uh, moment okay if you would like to find the moment for example uh, i will just uh, starting with the example that we have study from Okay, then uh, if we consider this example, that is the, the beam, the beam, the beam problem, that's actually we already done. This is uh, the beam problem. This, this is the beam problem that uh, we may know the force, may know the, the we may have the, Many moment and this is many moment for the first element, right? This is uh, for second element. That's uh, we have done this before from uh, previous example. From previous example, that's we uh, have done. Okay, that's uh, uh, actually from this example, we determine the element force at node only. Element force at node only. Now we will use the shape function to determine the uh, element force at uh, any point of the beam instead any point of the beam okay so according to this example okay so when we we have the 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 second derivative right we will check with the bending moment first we have N1, the second derivative of, of J function is equal to minus 6 over L squared plus 12x over L cubed. Okay. And N2 is equal to minus 4 over L plus 6x over L squared. N3 <coughs> is 6 over L squared. Minus those x over l q n four is equal to minus two over l plus six x over l square right okay uh, now we would like to find the bending moment okay for the first element for the first element we may starting at x equal to zero first okay when x equal to zero and this is the displacement u1 in local already right or it is a beam so it is a in local already it is not necessary to transform anymore okay so for x equal to zero so what is that when x equal to zero it is uh, n1 Second derivative is equal to what? On this case, L L is equal to sorry, have to come back to here. Uh, L equal to two meter, right? Okay. 
L equal to two meter. So in second derivative of this is equal to minus six over two square. So it become what? It's become one point five minus one point five. Okay. The n two is equal to minus four over L, right? It's become minus two. Okay, n three is become six over two square. So it become one point five. Okay, and n four is equal to minus two over L. That is minus two over two. That is become minus one, right? It's equal to minus one. So then, when we uh, solve the bending moment, bending moment, we would like to find u one second derivative, right? When x equal to zero, equal to n one second derivative. At x equal to zero, right? N two, and so on. N three, N four. And pi with this statement vector that is over here, right? Okay. Zero zero minus zero point nine two five five N or three, right? This is minus zero point one nine eight four. Okay, so what happened? Okay, so n one is equal to first term and second term is become zero, right? Uh, the third is become one point five. Um, what? Um, minus zero point nine two five nine. Okay. Um, minus three. Okay. Plus what? <laughs> plus minus one. Okay. Um, what? Um, uh, minus zero point one nine eight four um, ten minus three. Okay. So what happened? We have the second derivative at this point is equal to minus one point five eight seven five five um, in minus three rate. <coughs> okay. So then, if we would like to find moment, moment is pi the second derivative of this. So what is that? Okay. Pi for this problem. Okay, is equal to two one zero six times sixty minus six. Okay. Okay, so it's become for this case, the i is equal to twelve thousand six hundred. Okay, this.
protein we have the internal force is become twenty. So that is maybe something mistake at this point. 